like because your i guess associations and connections with indie rock is just like more conceptual and tangential as opposed to like oh yeah i was there back in the day so on and so forth like does that impact your sort of approach to the sound to the genre i mean i i guess like maybe the most obvious way that could be is that it it gives you more leeway or sort of more freedom or you know a, a desire to fuck around with it and do different things with it because you're not sort of like beholden to a formula but it is there are there other ways that you feel like it sort of changes you know your perspective on the genre i think my biggest uh the biggest asset for me my specific upbringing is that uh i was exposed to damn near everything because my mom again was a music buff um but i i wasn't attached to any one uh like scene of music so even when i was with the homies that we were doing shit that would have uh, essentially got us put in prison i was listening to stuff that didn't fit that scenario uh so i was able to look at it from a different perspective like being four black kids in a car and i am the only one with my headphones on and i'm listening to nirvana and it's just like this makes sense to me like because i'm applying this feeling to something that probably had no intentions for being this moment um and that's the same thing uh i talk about when i'm Mexican people love Morrissey and stuff like that it's like there's for whatever reason like there's such a, a weird place that we put music in our life experience that is so this like I'm not old white dude that has a CBGB shirt and just like I was there you know I I know the real like I was it's like nah I was where I was whatever the real was that's great and like I respect it but I also am not afraid to like take that stuff apart and take the aspects that I do like about it and like that I don't like about it like I love guitar solos and people don't really do guitar solos anymore and I'm like yo it's an amazing thing but in the same vein it's like there was such a format to where like I'll put a guitar solo in the beginning of a song somebody's like what the fuck are you doing and I'm like see that's because it, again you're in this like this thing where everything has to be so pragmatic and I, I don't think that I don't think that I have to ever be, not that I don't have to follow rules, I respect them. I mean, uh, I learned song structure for a reason, but I think not being attached to any one uh, a scene of music made me open to all of them. It's just like being that, that kid, uh, and I know there was a lot of kids like that that didn't have just one group of friends where you just could migrate from place to place and still just be like yourself. Uh, and I think that's what I became with music and that also gave me a different perspective because I don't have to look or dress like Mac DeMarco to put reverb on my guitar and, and play some really pretty stuff. Uh, I don't have to be that. So I think it gave me, it gave my life situation a different perspective. Like I'm talking about having guns and then doing the things with my guns, but you will hear these pretty chords and these things that don't necessarily fit that and i think that duality isn't something that i just make up it's just my life experience going with my experience with music uh in a way that i don't think i would I, not even myself maybe a few years ago would have thought about how important it was for me to be listening to um uh, uh uh, heaven or las vegas while i'm i'm running away from cops like that that's not something that i think I appreciate it at the moment, but now when I look back, I'm like, wow, that's some, that's some ill shit. Like, I don't think many people have that same story or taking your homie that just got out of prison to a Mac DeMarco show. Like they had just no idea what that music sounds like. And I'm like, yo, just, just relax. Like, just listen. And those experiences, I think, uh, give me like a little bit of a, a different perspective on a music that is highly respected and has existed for a long time or different formats of music like electronic stuff. Thank you very much for watching this interview clip over on TND Streams. To see the full interview, click on the video link next to my head or down below, or hit up the link to subscribe to the channel or see our Patreon page to support what we do and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process. Uh, Anthony Fantano, forever.